So who are you right now, and who am I? Am I a offensive coordinator, the, my well, prospect? Yeah, you're the, I'll be the prospect, I guess. That would be okay. the best way to do it. But, like, some of the – like, just, like, one, one team I can remember specifically, I want to say it was the Green Bay Packers. They right. were – get up and draw us your favorite play, right? Okay. okay, so first thing was is I was, like, nervous about my drawing. Right. Like, I practiced my drawing before I went in there, just as far as my, my X's and O's, right? So, okay, I'll give you a play. And he with, writes in cursive, by the way. I like do. The only guy in his late 30s who still I still do. Cursive. I'm lefty, so we're writing challenged as is. But I get on the board, and I, I'm going to use my Texas person uh, or, or uh, what do I want to say, scheme, language, whatever it Burbage, was. Burbage, they Burbage, say. thank yes. you very much for your scouting term. Uh, and this was a, a play that was kind of all-purpose. It was 906, okay, mm -hmm. uh, burst post. That's okay. what we called it, okay, 906. Right. And it's a number scale, which I don't Did you ever no, number yeah. offense? Yep. That's yeah. how you did it? Yeah. Okay, so here, I'll put the X receiver out here. Let's put a receiver. He's, he would run the nine. It, he would run the nine, right? It's going right. to go right across the board. Right, and I'll put the uh, zebra out here as the third receiver. There's Y. Here I am, a quarterback, and they want you to go through like the how the play goes, right? And okay, nine. Nine is a go route. Okay, so I had Roy Williams, if you remember him, who was a top ten pick, right? I was like, well, if, if we had a man to man and the guy was playing bump, I'd go, oh, right. I'd love to throw, you know, just the go route, or mm -hmm. if somebody bailed out really quick, maybe a back shoulder, or something like that, to explain to him. Okay, I would go from there, and then, you know. So I would also explain within that, okay, because this is my nine to my left side. If the, the, if the DB was 10 yards off, yep. you know, I might signal him something else, give him a hand signal and go, oh, well, run a comeback. And there's no point in running the go route. The guy's 12 yards okay. off. You're not going to run by him. So maybe you do that and signal him either way. I got to go over there. You're okay. getting cues from Annie you're in trouble. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See? So there's my nine, okay? okay. I got zero six, okay? And then this is going to be the burst out of the backfield, and this would be the post, how we called it. Okay. So they would just want to ask you how you was coached, right? right? So there was the single cut thought. Now, if I had two deep safeties, there was two thoughts. I mean, if it was like too deep, a true too deep, like Tampa two or something like that, right. my coach would teach me to work the inside triangle. Did you ever hear that? Like I've heard of that, that term, heard right? That scheme, the, yeah. They, the they concept, would go yeah. the concept, right? Inside triangle is because here you got this guy, the back. We would call that a triangle because it kind of works as a triangle read. And it would be okay. Zone defense, my zone defense, or even man to man. If you wanted to play the concept, it would go. One to two to the six route, right? Okay. Which is six is an in cut to yep. the back out of the backfield for my check down. Okay. All right. And then that was really the meats and potatoes of the play. And then you say, well, what's the post for over here? And for me, I don't know how your were as any any offenses. Post is always alert if we got cover four, okay. right? Quarters, a quarter safety. Four guys going deep. Two four corners, guys got, safeties, yes, yeah. the, the, the two corners, the two safeties have a quarter of the field. But in quarters coverage, like the quarters, the quarter safeties are going to be a little more flat-footed and not necessarily right. go deep. If somebody crosses their face, yep. they're going to kind of sit on it and try to drive the ball. So quarters was an alert to this post over the top, okay? If the safety here had big eyes on the in cut and this safety over here is flat-footed on the in cut too, that was an alert to throw the post over the top. Right. Those are things that they want to see. And so here's, here's right. and I'm, we're improvising here. I'm going to play yeah. coach, GM, whoever, sure. who right. says, okay, I understand that. That makes sense. Protections are such a big thing right now. I know. And this is a problem a lot of coaches have with someone like uh, Drew Locke, who for two or three years at Missouri would just look to the sideline. They'd signal it in. He'd clap and just go. This past year was the only time he really had to worry about protection. So when it comes to protections, well, I'm going to erase them. Or you no, think it's you go ahead and leave that there. Yeah. So let's say the defense was in a standard kind of four. Yep. You got a nickel guy out here. We'll get right. a nickel. A couple of backers in here. And just two deep. We'll go safeties. Safeties. Corner over here. Sure. And a corner here. Let's say they walk up this guy. Yeah. To sure. bring him. They walk him inside here. That he's going to come this way. Protection-wise, if they're not only bringing these four, yep. if they're bringing two extra at the snap and you recognize that, what are you doing with your protection right. scheme? So, and this is, this is one of the issues with me being evaluated. I can tell you this right off the bat, where teams would ask me, you know, why couldn't you pick up this blitz? Or why couldn't you do this? And this is where your due diligence as a coach or a scout or something. And I would go, 
I don't know, because I was never taught to. I mean, and you have to take that into account so when you evaluate. So when you were at Texas, you, you were responsible for There were certain blitzes where, I mean, John Gruden would go, well, why couldn't you pick up this blitz against yes. Oklahoma? And I said, I don't know. Um, yeah. but, but I was never taught, and I was never told I was doing anything wrong either, either. So you have to take those things into account before you blame the quarterback going, why didn't he re-ID and pick up this blitz? Because he well, wasn't some, told to. He wasn't told to. Nobody taught him to. That, 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 that's not the quarterback's fault. That's an offensive right. coordinator problem. That's a team problem. So as an evaluator, you do have to be careful about – throwing the quarterback and going, oh, he's not very smart. No, he might be smart, but he just wasn't taught, wasn't taught to how to do that, right? How, how so difficult to do it that. is for these prospects to have to do that? Because they're getting a lot of that information from the sideline now and not worried about those kind of things. No, they're, they're definitely not. And that's a big issue in the NFL altogether, whether it's offensive alignment or quarterback right. play, right? Is, yeah. you know, can they break the huddle? Can they manage things at the line of scrimmage by themselves? Because in high school and college, everything is right now is, you know, fake the snap, look over. What did the coach say? Oh, wait, fake it again? Oh, coach wants me to do yeah, this. Right. Hey, and they have one word thing, and that, that is life so, in college football. So it's not out of the realm of possibility. I don't know if this happened or not, but it could have happened this way. Kyler Murray could have been in the situation and some aggressive coach could have drawn something like that and said what do you do and he could have been like I, he could have been I, I don't know I don't know because Lincoln Riley could have been telling him the whole season hey don't worry about this blitz right. My, the offensive line has been taught how to pick it up that's not your your problem right. you just worry about the coverage so those are all things that where sometimes I hear these things like Kyler Murray oh he wasn't good at the board where I want to go Okay, but what were what was really going on in the bar? Yeah, he might have not been good about answering how to pick up this blitz, right. but he also might not have been taught it either. I, I think sometimes right. uh, a way a coordinator or a coach gets past that, because they all have to know that that kind of thing is coming with some of these kids who didn't have that sort of responsibility at the line of scrimmage, that they will draw up a play from start to finish. Here's the play call. Here's what you're responsible for at the line of scrimmage. Yep. Here's what the tight end is doing. If this guy's coming, the right. running back, he's running this route. If this is happening, they erase the whole thing and yes. say, now you teach it to me. Exactly right. Or or do that and then give you, a, you know, teach you a play, right. ask you 10 questions, and then go back and go, hey, you know that play I taught you? Yeah. Go up and draw it on the board now because they want to see if you could retain it. how difficult it. is that? Extremely right? difficult. Yeah. To the point where I'm not even listening to the 10 qu and questions that are being asked in the in-between because I'm still going, oh, wait, I don't want to mess up that play. What was that play? What were the rules? What are the things he taught me? So mm -hmm. I think those are all part of the board work. Uh, but that's really what it is at the end of the day. I think we kind of covered it all. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.